Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Red Dead Redemption 2. Previously. Feller's dead down there. Okay. Must have gone off the cliff. Yep. I think he's from that uh, cabin up the way there. Oh, I can loot him. Okay. A bride photograph? It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. What? Best, Jim. Okay. Pick up bird? It is a three-star grizzly. Dead. That was the ninth predator kill as well. Uh, yeah. And that's it. Five cougars skinned, at least. Okay. Oh, it's him. I don't like the sound of that. I just wanted to shoot some birds. What'd I say about them trying to kill me if I got on the train? 150 bucks lost. Because they wouldn't let me shoot birds off a train. I can't describe how thoroughly annoyed I am right now. I couldn't get away from them because I couldn't get a horse. The horse I did get died immediately. And then the game didn't pause when I was trying to refresh my dead eye. Man, I'm annoyed. At least I made some progress on that challenge, though. It was taking me uh, away from the camp, too, so whatever. 150 bucks down, plus 200 something dollars in uh, bounties over there. Yep. Gross. Yeah, $215 bounty. There is a question... Wow, game. What the heck is the problem? Why are you hitching like this whenever the train goes by? Like the note? What? But you won't. You okay? Iniquities of history, huh? Do I look okay? No. You look off. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal <laughs> here. Living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. Gross. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only. I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a hmm. North of Scarlet Meadows. Oh? <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Harris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Huh. Well, okay. I really don't have time for this. Taking my leisure, you say? Must be nice, because I didn't know about that. Okay. So he's... Scarlet Meadows. Here we go. That's not that far. Let's go. What? Let's show them how free 
Is this State of Lemoyne, boys? Yeah. Hello? Can you mark targets, please? And the last man. Ugh. Well, that doesn't quite make up for not escaping the law, but it's fine. Okay, my bounties is still gonna be a stupid amount of money. I feel like I need to get rid of my bounties too at some point, but man. What an expense. Well, I did make a nice amount of money from these guys. Is there any carvings on these rocks? No? You'd think I would have found one rock carving in my entire travels already, but no. Come on, girl. It's not a thing yet. We'll find them one day. Maybe. Yeah. That's my girl. <laughs> oh no. It's the place where the barn burned down, huh? Search the house for Compson's watch, pistol, and ledger. Uh, by order of Judge, uh, uh. by order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk. November 18th, 1895. Hmm. Okay. I didn't know that that was going to be voice acted. That's pretty cool. Ledger, watch, pistol. Empty bottle. Old blood eyes. Ha ha ha. That's the flag that I have on my uh, online character at the camp. Old blood eyes. Yeah, what's this? Examine child's drawing. Okay. Oh. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Wow. Cute. Yeah, family... Family what? De, de Guero type? What does that mean? June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, canned veggies, baked beans, it's all very solemn in here. Man who lost everything kind of a solemn. Is it going to read? April 2nd, yeah, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and to help your pappy, and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Oh, man. Colonel Nixon, huh? Examine antique watch? That's one that he wanted, right? That's the old watch. Okay. Now the ledger and the pistol. Yeah, some premium cigs here. Must be full up on them. Which is fine with me, because I'm low on the good stuff here. There we go. Old dead eye.
What do we got here? Oh, wow. Uh, black mangrove. Nice. Okay. Nothing else. There's another letter over here. A metal? I couldn't figure out what that was. I kept wanting to make it a bookmark. Kind Dear of, I guess. Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Huh. Up there, I guess he means heaven. For most folk imagine that their loved ones go to. Oh. It didn't let me open the desk drawer when I was standing on the left side, but... And that's not the ledger in there? It's just some book? Okay. Okay. Where is all this old crap? Come on. You're not even gonna try to jump up there, Arthur? Man. If I was exploring this old place, I would for sure be up in the second floor. No problem. Easy mode. Not Arthur, though. He's too old and lazy. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a door that can open. Oh, do I get to keep the old hat? Maybe not. Dear Mr. Thompson, after numerous complaints from customers and fellow employees alike, we must terminate your employment. There's just no place for a man like you at the Central Union Railroad Company. Oh no. What do you do? I'd like to know. Yeah, it really won't really won't let me take that hat. Uh, trap door, huh? Yeah. I saw it whenever we walked in. How did you not, uh... How did you not know? <laughs> oh, no. What you doing here? We found this place first. Found it. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Huh. Ah! Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? <laughs> Come on! Okay. Son of You asked for it. Oh no! How dare you! I would have been perfectly fine with not killing you guys, but this is how y'all are. Where's the pistol, though? Oh. Eh, I can toggle view and all that, so why not, you know, zoom as well. I think it's funny that he called it a revolver, too. Well, that'll be the pistol. Uh, just the ledger now. Okay. I'll bet it's down in the basement. He had a kid and everything. I wonder where his son is. Pa. Oh. God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck. None of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Wow. Oh, he pulled out his lantern automatically, too. It's amazing. Shit. What? Oh, no. Oh, man. Why has it got to be like this? Oh, so bad I'm going to have to have a drink. Probably I should have had Gorma rum, because that's what this probably is. Examine diary. There's whips and everything. 
Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. <laughs> June 64. Yeah. There's not a uh, next page or anything, so. God. Chasing a man with dogs is no way to do things. Gary, who he is. Well, what's in here then? This your ledger? A list of slaves? Uh, rewards. January 15th, Betsy, $17. January 18th, Louise, $12. May 18th, Wilfred, $18. May 24th, Minnie and Child, $20. Good grief. Ugh. This makes you sick, you know? At least it does me. Uh, tell me that was a box of any importance under here. Nope. Just a regular box. I saw it at the last second and it looked kind of like a chest. Anything inside the fireplace? It looks suspicious to me. Maybe that just helps with airflow, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're supposed to take this stuff to him then. Yeah. I can see why nobody wanted anything to do with him though after... after what he's done. Who he was. Good old slave patrol. And I use the words good old very loosely. If only they were not around anymore, you know? If only slave patrol didn't still exist. Some folk never learned, though. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, like shit on their booth. Yeah. I'm, times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just... It's all... It's all going to hell. Now it has? Rack and ruin. Rack and damn ruin. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are pissing. What are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. <laughs> oh. Man, life isn't so one-dimensional, dude. There's such a variety of things that you could get into or try to do. I guess it, I guess it tried to explain that he did because it had the letter there from the railroad saying that he got let loose and uh, there was some other... Now, I think the plantation was the first one and I figured that's where he was originally employed. 
So he tried working for the railroad, but they just complained about him working there too, I guess. Ugh. Probably because he was complaining the whole time, or acting like he was the boss or something like that. I don't know. Can't just give up on life because you lost a few things. Well, I guess you can. People do it all the time. Reading a book. Yeah. I don't know. In a way, I guess it's understandable because, like he says, that's what he did. That's who he was, more or less, to himself. His wife died. Somebody must have taken away his kid and wouldn't let him see him. Uh, then they were saying, like, the kid wouldn't want, wouldn't want that? Wouldn't want to see him or something? I don't know. I can understand why he would be so depressed, but still. Doesn't mean it's right. Who are you? Good to see you back, Arthur. Yeah. For some reason he wouldn't reply, but most of the time when I hold right click, he locks on to the first person that he can look at and talk to. Or the nearest horse. Not this time. Not when I was trying to reply. Oh man. Normally I would try to do something around the camp. Don't feel right but... seeing you wearing that badge. <laughs> yeah. I agree. Even Arthur. Yep. It was a fun time with the bank and all last time. You hush, Micah. Don't you say a word to me. I'll shoot you right now. Ugh. What a time. What an absolute time. Let's sleep for eleven hours, sure. Really? Giving me that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. <laughs> How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Oh, man. Bit of tensions. Whole mom and dad arguing again. You know how it goes. You know. Um. Let's see. Did I already look at this medicine? Potent health cure. Is that what um, Hosea gave to me for that quest that we did for him? It's not actually a quest. It was a request. And that's fine. Okay. Uh, dinosaur bones we haven't found very many of. Like one, maybe. Maybe two. Old Deborah McGinnis. Uh, legendary fish we found a lot of. Oh. Oh. I can get to my challenges real quick through here. That's fantastic. So yeah, two coaches robbed or fenced. We could do easy. Uh, treasure found. We could do easy. I know where one is. Um, seven cr items crafted with sage. We could do real quick. Van Horn to Blackwater. I don't think we can do that as um, as Arthur. It would be risky at least. Uh, yeah, we need to kill one more cougar with a bow. Um, three more birds from a train. That went terribly last time. I can't believe it. Uh, dynamite arrow crafted. And, uh, yeah, ten enemies killed with crafted shotgun ammo. Oh. And he's ours, I guess. For now. Aww. Little doggo. That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. 
He probably did something bad. <laughs> Kane. His name is Kane. Okay. Hey, Kane. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Kane do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. Arthur. Yep. A dog. A dog. That's right. Go get him, Jack. Crazy kid. Wild. I didn't know that that was a thing. I wonder if the dog sticks around or plays any uh, influential part at any point. My, what a charade you are playing, dressed as the law. That's right. Very charade-y. Let's go, Jose. Good morning. Yep. What's up? Uh, Kieran, I forgot your name for a while, but don't tell anyone. Okay. Uh, what would I build that uses sage, though? I don't know. I guess I don't... Oh, I have fire arrows. I don't have access to um, dynamite arrows. Okay. okay. Eagle feather, hawk feather. Um, yeah, sage is in this. Uh, the bull rush, though, is holding us back. I won't be able to make many of those. Here, we can make five of these. Horse ointment. What does this do? Uh, health core. Okay. Gold stamina core for a day. I see. Alright, we'll make a few of these then. Alright, so that's five items there. Yeah, go ahead and show me the stuff that I can't craft. This is because I'm carrying them. I see. So unless I throw something away or use it, I can't craft any more of those. All right. And then I assume I just don't know the recipe uh, for that. I thought there was one where I could craft uh, fire arrows, though. Nope. I clicked before I was in the right spot. There we go. Uh, what? What even was it though? Survivalist, maybe. Yeah. Dynamite, fire, improved poison, or small game. And small game. We have to make one of each. So it just says uh, dynamite arrow because that's where it wants me to start at. But we have to make one of all of these. Okay. We'll get to it then. I'll get all of them except the dynamite uh, arrow crafted then. Um, yeah. Assuming I can. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell. <laughs>